Hello, this is Peter from First Maths, and today we're looking at who gets the most, a Year 7 Maths lesson. Let's resources. None needed. Mental learning objective. I can find fractions of amounts of money. Today we're going to start by focusing on finding fractions of different amounts of money. What is half of ten pound? Three, two, one, tell me. You are amazing. The answer was five pound. What is quarter of ten pound? Three, two, one, tell me. You are really on fire today. It is £2.50. What is half of £5? Three, two, one. Tell me. You are right. It is £2.50. Well done. What is quarter of £2? Three, two, one. Tell me. That is right again. It is fifty pence and you do that by thinking half of two pound is one pound and half of one pound is fifty pence. What's the next question? What is half of a hundred pound? Three, two, one, tell me. That's right. It is fifty pound. What is quarter of one hundred pound? Three, two, one, tell me. You are really good at maths. It is 25 pound. What is a third of 12? Three, two, one, tell me. And of course the answer was four. What is two thirds of 12 pound? Three, two, one, tell me. The answer of course is eight pound. What is two thirds of nine pound? Three, two, one, tell me. The answer of course was six pound because one third is of nine is three, so two thirds is six. What is one third of eighteen? Three, two, one, tell me. Of course it is six because three times six makes 18. What is two thirds of 18? Three, two, one, tell me. The answer is 12, because if one third of 18 is six, two thirds is 12. Mental learning objective. I can find fractions of amounts of money. Main learning objective. I can compare fractions with the same denominator. I can compare fractions with different denominators by converting them to the same denominator. I can find fractions of time and money by making sure the fractions have the same denominator. That's the key idea today, the big idea which you must keep in your head. Main learning task. Today we're going to look at how to work with fractions and decide which is the largest fraction. Here is a sharing problem we're going to solve together. There are three children in a family, Alice, Brian and Chloe. Their grandmother gives them £2.40 to share between them. She has devised several plans to share it. In plan A, Alice gets five ten tenths of her money, Brian gets three tenths and Chloe gets two tenths. Plan B, Alice gets a quarter of the money, Brian gets five twelfths and Chloe gets a third. Who gets the most money with plan A? Pause the video and tell the teacher. That is right. Alice gets the most money because she gets five tenths of it. Who gets the least money with plan A? That's right again. That would be Chloe. She gets the least of the money because she has two tenths of the money. 
How much does each child get with plan A? Pause the video and work it out. As a fraction, how much more does Alice get than Chloe? Pause the video and tell the teacher. 5 tenths take away 2 tenths equals 3 tenths. As a fraction, how much more does Alice get than Brian? Pause the video and tell your teacher. 5 tenths take away 3 tenths equals 2 tenths. How else can we write this fraction? Pause the video and tell your teacher. That's right, it was 1 fifth. As a fraction, how much does Chloe and Brian get together? 2 tenths plus 3 tenths equals how much? Pause the video, tell your teacher. That's right, it was 5 tenths. How else could we write this fraction? Pause the video, tell your teacher. That's right, is 1 half. How much does each child get with plan B? Hmm. This isn't so easy to see who gets the most this time, is it? Why not? Pause your video and tell the teacher. There are quarters, twelfths and thirds this time. What can you tell me about these fractions? Pause the video and tell your teacher. Does Alice get more or less than Chloe? Pause the video and tell your teacher. How can you work out who gets the most and by how much? Pause the video and discuss this as a class. We can change them all to the same kind, that is the twelfth. gets a quarter, Brian gets five twelfths, Chloe gets one third. So what do we do next? To find the differences between amounts just take away the fractions. Now they are of the same kind. So if you've solved the question, we'll pause the video to solve the question and see who has the most or least. By finding out how much money each gets, divided by 2 of plan 40 by 12, then multiply by the top of the fraction. So pause the video and work out how much each person gets. Solve these questions. There are three children in a family, Alice, Brian and Chloe. Their grandmother gives them 2 pound 40 to share between them. Simplest. Alice gets 1 8, Brian gets 2 8, Chloe gets 5 8. Middle. Alice gets 1 half, Brian gets 3 8, Chloe gets 3 8. Hard. Alice gets a quarter, Brian gets 10 24 and Chloe gets a third. Who gets the most? Who gets the least? What is the difference between these amounts? What fraction of a whole amount is that? Write this as a difference between the fractions. Pause the video and complete this activity. Main learning objective. I can compare fractions with the same denominator. I can compare fractions with different denominators by converting them to the same denominator. Plenary. Share your findings with the rest of the class. Write your workings and answer on the board. Pause the video while people do this. We are now going to finish with some mental work based on the fractions of an hour. How many minutes are there in half an hour? Three, two, one, tell me. That's right, there are 30 minutes in half an hour. What is half of 60? Three, two, one. Tell me. 
awesome answer. That's right, it is 30. What is quarter of 60? 3, 2, 1, tell me. That is correct again. The answer was 15. How many minutes are there in three quarters of an hour? Three, two, one, tell me. Wow, you are just amazing at maths. The answer, of course, is 45 minutes. Review of key idea. I can find fractions of time and money by making sure that fractions have the same denominator. Did you learn this today? Thank you for watching. If you liked this video, please give it a like below. Please subscribe to my channel and also press the notification bell to be informed every time I upload a maths resource. I look forward to seeing you again very soon. Bye!